An international psychiatry conference in Hobart has heard about a growing link between type 1 diabetes and mental illness. 15% of the more than 1 million Australians diagnosed with diabetes have type 1. Caroline Thomas was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes 15 years ago. She's determined the illness won't affect her lifestyle. It doesn't really stop me doing anything that, that I want to do, it's just that you've got to be more prepared and plan ahead. But the mother of two has a message. I'm quite a strong advocate for trying to raise awareness about mental health um, issues and diabetes because it's, um, I think it probably goes undiagnosed. Um, quite often. The latest research shows more than 40% of people with diabetes suffer some form of psychological distress. Up to 30% have a diagnosed mental illness. There are high rates of depression, anxiety disorders and there's some emerging recognition of problems with eating disorders, particularly in young women with uh, type 1 diabetes. The stress of living with a chronic illness has been recognised for some time. The burdens are immense and uh, it's sort of, I suppose, that whole thing about you actually have to self-manage every single day. Evidence is emerging that a mental illness can have a negative impact on diabetes treatment. There is some evidence that depression can actually alter how the body processes glucose, which can complicate things. The medical profession is being encouraged to be mindful. It's important we ask, you know, all the questions about... Um, you know, how you're managing and, and you know, how you're going with your diabetes, but not how do you feel about it. Keep psychiatric diagnoses in mind and early identification and treatment is very important. Experts believe it will improve the health of patients with difficult to control diabetes. Linda Hunt, ABC News.